we move ahead in the pension analysis so we have defined benefit and defined contribution uh, the defined benefit both the risk is borne with the employer and complex system pay related plan non pay related ppo apo vbo so ppo is the estimate of current liability uh, of course it's the obligation on a company so it will come as the obligation apo is the estimate of current liability on a company which are excluding the impact of expected compensation increase uh what is the one like all employees and third time without any salary increase then vested benefit is the amount of income the employee has to date based on company's vested schedule now we have got some terms and they would be used in calculating the uh, uh, the equation for uh, pension expense so that starts with service cost interest cost actual return on planned asset expected return on planned asset prior service cost and related amortization so we have service cost interest cost actual return on asset expected return prior service cost and uh, related amortization net gain or losses change in pension resulting from change in actual assumption or difference between actual and actual return once again fall outside corridor of 10% so there is something called the corridor method so prior service cost mm, transition liability contribution benefits paid would remove all those part decreased plan asset as well as the obligation i explained the factor in the slide okay let's look at how would things affect so discount rate it is used to convert future liability into current liabilities and expenses the higher the discount rate the lower the ppo will be viewed pension expense will only de decrease if the present value effect is not offset by higher interest cost so you have got some interest cost so pension expense will only decrease if the present value effect is not offset by higher interest cost so otherwise uh, the higher discount rate the lower the pbo abo vbo and the, but the pension expense will decrease if uh, this is not offset by higher interest cost so this is a little tricky here because you will have interest cost but you will have that big chunk of money lying with you the rate of compensation increase is used to estimate future liabilities the higher the rate the higher the ppo and pension expense no effect on your ppo so the rate of uh, this would be higher ppo and higher pension of course what you are earning does not matter i mean you are earning on your planned asset the uh, rate of return on planned asset is used to project the asset plan into the future the higher the expense the lower the pension expense for a given ppo so the, the the higher you increase this the lower is your pension expense because you will offset a lot of that increase by uh, the higher return health care inflation will post uh, it is a higher accumulator will note that post whether it is similarly as pension so now we'll look at the impact of pension account and on reported financial statements of balance sheet item amortized item non operating item there are three items here of balance sheet item most importantly actual gains or losses are kept off balance sheet and are amortized over time another detail non pay related defined benefit obligations are generally subject to future plan amendments pbo should be adjusted upward amortized item the idea of amortized item is to smooth pension cost and thereby avoid volatility in the income statement of the company sources for difference between amount recognized in final statement and the economic liability are unrecognized actual gains and losses on recognized prior service cost difference expected and actual return on the plan asset for analysis it would be preferred to add the adjustment of net pension uh, uh, plan and adjust equity and deferred tax on the income side and income side so this amortization is uh, done to smooth and things out and we would uh, do two few things as the analyst add the adjustment to net portion of the plan similarly adjust the equity to deferred taxes on income adding back the amortized plan cut give back to actual earning the pension accountant mixes gains and losses with other expenses for analysis it may be preferred to separate service cost from the rest for this add uh, the difference between reported and the service cost that is now back to reported earning detect low quality earning management trick analysis of financial statement lease and off balance sheet debt consolidation of unconsolidated portfolios goodwill intangible reclassification and liabilities 
So when you have a lease and off balance sheet, there are questions on this one. Add assets and liabilities upon amortization interest costs. Add uh, explicit guarantees and liabilities. Consolidation of uh, unconsolidated affiliates should be treated with proper consolidation. Good and intangible financial should be excluded both. Reclassification of the cost of is already incurred. Then modify the illicit current value of current asset inventory. T4 is the preferred method. First and first one, order to obtain inventory at the LIPO reserve to the LIPO inventory. Difference is either credit equity or special income tax and taxes. That are the other of inventory liquidation. Fixed asset, long term, planned asset, and so on. 